How to cook Italian food. The most important thing you need to know is that most Italian food uses few ingredients, and only few ingredients. They are simple and delicious. When cooking pasta, season the water with salt. It gives flavor to your pasta. You're not actually eating the salt; it dissolves. Make sure there's room for the pasta to dance. So you want a reasonable amount of water. That being said, use a pot to cook your pasta, not a saucepan. Don't add olive oil; it is a waste. Olive oil is a very good oil. You don't need it in most recipes for cooking pasta. Make sure the sauce is ready before the pasta is ready. Many people think olive oil helps the pasta from not sticking to each other, but it's not true. If you put pasta directly into the sauce and you mix it, it won't stick. So you need to have the sauce ready before the pasta is ready. Pasta water is your friend. Don't drain it. You can drain it, but leave about a cup of pasta water. It is full of starch and flavor. It also helps to combine the pasta with the sauce. It makes it creamy. Don't use cream. Most recipe requires you to make the cream. For example, in carbonara, you make cream with eggs or egg yolks, parmesan or pecorino cheese, and black pepper. Don't use butter unless required, but try to watch an Italian YouTuber or follow an Italian recipe book because if you're not, you're guaranteed to use butter because Italian food has been misinterpreted around the world. Don't call a dish something when it isn't. This is just being respectful. Don't assume Italians use garlic a lot. Panna cotta. My favorite dessert. You don't need milk. You don't. I think what people are trying to do with the milk is create the half and half. But if you're living in America, I think you can buy half and half. In New Zealand, you can't, or you can, but I don't see it in the supermarket. If you're making the syrup. Because you don't actually need syrup for panna cotta. Make that sweet and use less sugar for the actual panna cotta. If you're using canned fruits, just note that the canned fruit is already quite sweet. So adjust the sweetness so you don't get gum disease if you don't know how to brush your teeth properly. Pizza cooking. Use good tomato sauce. Australia and New Zealand tomatoes are not good for Italian dishes. Our tomatoes are good for salads. Don't burn the cheese. I don't know why, but I think it's a presentation purpose. No pineapple on pizza. Don't put pineapple on pizza. First of all, I don't have a problem with pineapple pizza. However, I know that it's not authentic or traditional, so don't call pineapple pizza a tiny pizza. Even Gordon Ramsay says no pineapple on pizza. Use a pizza stone if you are using a home oven. Otherwise, a fire oven or a rock box is better.